<laughs> Hi, you guys. Hello and welcome. <laughs> I always have to wait on that little click to go. Uh, wait on that red light on my end to come up. If you see the red light, then that means you're live with me right this very minute. And if it doesn't say live in the top corner, um, then you're going to catch me on the replay a little bit later. Either way, it's great. Happy to have you here. My name is Tammy Neff, and you're on my page called Tammy Loves Vintage. And I didn't send out any... Um, notifications. It's just kind of a silly little uh, craft that I've been wanting to get done for a while. <laughs> and I, um, I keep pushing it around. I keep changing my mind, thinking how I want to do it. And it's such a simple thing. I'm just making it more difficult than it, um, than it really is. So uh, what I have is a couple of hearts from, and I'm really not into Valentine's. I just brought my box up and I thought I'd even go through, hi Kim, I thought I'd even go through my box Hey Debbie, with you guys, um, as I'm unpacking it, I got um, I got all my Christmas put away the day after Christmas. I left out everything winter, um, just because you know when you take down your Christmas, how your house feels so bare and kind of sad. I guess this is the word. Happy New Year, Sharon. Hi, honey, and. I don't know. I just feel that way about my house. I miss all the little lights and I, I don't know. I just miss it. So anyway, I left all of the winter up. Of course, my tree is still up um, waiting for um, I, I, it's either the 6th or the 7th of January um, before I take it down. Um, and what else is happening here? <laughs> Anything other than I really want to do something with these hearts. And I... Um, it's my last set that I have in stock from Chocotour. And so I thought I wanted to use this old quilt. Now it's a, um, I've heard it called all kinds of names. Uh, feather quilt was one. And I think it's because of the way these little stitches, the hand stitches are. And uh, it's a mess. I mean, it's got a hole in it. <laughs> It's got several several holes in it. Actually, um, you might be able to tell from the from the backside better how rough it really is. But as you can tell, um, I've made a lot of things with it, and I just thought maybe you guys would have one hanging around. Um, and if not, I mean, I just feel like I have not been on as often. Yes, a crazy quilt. I've heard it called that too. Um, and then I've heard it called a cutter quilt as well. So those were the three things: a crazy quilt, a cutter quilt, and a feather, um, feather stitch or feather something, I forget. Anyway, this one's super nice because it has a lot of velvet. I don't know if you can tell, but those, this is all pieces of velvet, which I absolutely love. And I love all of the stitching. I have no idea, Kim. I just know it's really old and it's really tired. I mean, you can tell from the inside. Somebody really, really, really liked it. Um, uh, used it a lot. Let me show you this one. Um, we found this one. Uh, my friend Julie and I, we do a lot of crafting together. Um, we had bought this and it was, um, oh, the guy, I think it was in our booth, the, uh, in the booth. The guy is from Maine and he always has really awesome stuff. And for some reason, it was only like 20 bucks. For, maybe it was 20 bucks a piece. Maybe it was $40 and we both paid $20 and we split it. I think that might have been how it went down. So then we knew we were kind of loving to make the Santa jackets is the main thing that um, we've done. We've done a couple pumpkins. You know, you start making things and your quilt little by little dwindles away. So then um, we were at Don Scott Antique Show last month, I suppose. And we found this one. And you're not going to believe it. It was only $5. And this is, this is half of it. We split it. So this is half. And um, Julie has the other half, of course. So, but it's also tired and tattered. So let me get it in here where you guys can kind of see. Um, I'm hoping you can see. I can't see the screen, so I can't see what you're seeing. But the stitching is, um, it's still great. And I think we can find some good pieces here and there. But I really like the colors <coughs> and the velvets of this one. This one has a little bit of, um, more patterns to it, I guess you would say. Uh, but I don't, they're both nice. So we were both feeling pretty lucky to have come across both of these quilts. And we just split this one up, so I haven't made anything out of it just yet. But, um, yeah, I mean, you can see, <coughs> like I could do my hearts, but I don't think 
this is pretty tattered. I just don't think I'm going to get a good heart out of this. I think when I use this, it needs to be something bigger, like a bigger project. So anyway, there's that and my where my head is. <laughs> so, okay, then um, the other reason why I didn't do this last night is because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. So I have Would You Bend. Um, you, I've never used it yet, you guys. I saw it on my website. I've sold several pieces of it. And no one even knows I have it there. Uh, but I'm watching all these people mess around with Would You Bend. And I want to try it. And so I thought, what a great, you know, paint this side out. But I couldn't figure out what color to paint it. And I'm thinking gold. And then I'm thinking cream. And, and then I got confused. <laughs> and then I thought I'd put a ruffle underneath and just leave the sides plain. Then I thought, okay, I think I'm going to wrap the quilt around the whole thing. And that has been my favorite decision. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so it's taken my little brain a long time to go all the way around the mountain, but it's back and it knows what it wants to do now. So, so anyway, uh, hopefully you guys are um, digging that idea because I don't know, I think it's kind of a good one. Um, I'm looking to see here if I can see comments. Hmm. I've got my little iPad. I'm trying to get myself back in the groove of this. It's a, it's a lot to do. And see, I didn't, I didn't do my hair. I mean, I washed my hair this morning, but yeah, terrible. Anyway. Okay. And then the most exciting thing of all, you guys, I have boxes. There's two more of here of things from you guys, from, from followers. Like, I think they think I ran out of stuff. <laughs> so they sent me stuff to craft with. And I couldn't be more excited. I came home today and I looked at the, we have a little rocking chair on the back porch and <laughs> all those boxes, like what in the world? And I knew a couple of them were coming. A couple of them were surprised, so I don't even know what they are. But I thought maybe when we're all done with this, we could open them up together. So let's stick you guys down here and <laughs> see. <laughs> so um, the first thing I wanted to do was figure out like, you know, how I wanted this to be and I thought I kind of wanted some colors that were maybe I'm better to do it this way I don't want to waste it either and those are kind of neutrals which you know I love but I don't you think I need like here let's shimmy it down here and get a little bit of that pink maybe like that's not bad I kind of like that color there but then I lose my pink to get this I lose this I kind of like that better let's shimmy it down there let's see what about that because I love all the stitching. And I like that it's just at the edge. Oh, there's greens. That would be a good spot. Can you guys, yeah, you guys can see. See how neutral that went with no um, pinks and stuff. See that? That's a good, that's actually kind of a good one. Then I don't have to worry about, there's a little bit of that. Oh, no, there's not because I want to wrap the whole thing. And I don't know how that's going to go either, to be totally brutally honest with you. I've never done anything like that. So, and I'm not a sewer, so I don't know how to do it. So let's just, I'm just going to do it. Whatever happens, happens. And th with this one too, I love, like, this part of the quilt's yucky, of course. But look how good this is. Like, if you guys are um, not into all of the colors and you like neutrals, this is a really cool look with all of the stringing and stuff. I've got a new light ordered too, by the way, because um, I feel like my light is just really dark in this room. There's no ceiling light in here, so I'm trying, I'm trying to get myself together to where I might have a little bit more confidence to go live more often with you guys. I don't know what has gotten into me, but I am just, I don't know. I just got weird about it. <laughs> I don't know why. And then I get all this stuff in the mail. You guys make me feel, you know, I felt the love today. <laughs> I got home from work. So anyway, okay. So uh, that's not going to work. I thought I could chalk it, but that's not going to work. All right. So let's try with a pencil. Okay. I'm just coloring on this um, heart and see, of course, I don't want it tight. I want it to overlap. Okay. All right, that's not going to work. Hang on a minute. That's not going to work because I need it to be bigger than that. So why don't I just kind of, oh, why don't I just kind of forget all that? You know what? I'm just going for it. I'm just pretending like I'm here by myself. <laughs> you guys aren't watching me. I got enough quilt. I can, I can, um, 
pick another spot if this isn't working out. Right? I'm making it. I'm being all nervously weird about it. Let's just do it. Oh, you have to be perfect. You got people watching, you know? It is. <laughs> it makes you feel, <laughs> I don't know. See what I mean? It's like weird. It's weird. I work today at a lady's house who follows me, actually. And she doesn't get out a whole lot. She's older and has a little trouble getting around now that, like, than what she used to. And she's like, I miss seeing you. And oh, I feel, I feel bad because I know she does enjoy the company, you know, the company of having someone to talk to. Or not talk to, but to listen while they're talking, I guess. Okay, now how do I do that part? When I do this, I got a big white part. Oh, I might not have thought this out very well. What do you do about that? <laughs> Everything else I should be good on, right? That little cut there is close, is real close. Um, yeah, what do you do about that? Hmm. Besides that, I'm golden. I'll just have to make some snips and, okay. All right, so here we go. I asked you guys, what do I do? And then I didn't look. I watched Barb last night on the shabby tree and she was making all a bunch of hearts. She was making all kinds of paper hearts um, and stuffed them and was decorating them all different ways. And she kept struggling and having trouble just like I was just doing. And she kept asking people, what do you think? What do you think? But she never once looked at the comments to see what anybody was thinking. It was so funny. She kept saying, I, can't, well, I don't know why I'm asking you. I don't look. <laughs> Uh, you think I need more of the red? Well, I have a second heart, so I'm going to stack it in front. Just get a small bit. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do, Sharon. That's what I was thinking. Patch it in. I'll be a patcher. Okay, so I'm using Super 77. I'm sure you guys all know about that. Or any kind of adhesive. You have some kind of stencil adhesive or whatever. I kind of like Super 77. Um, it's a little bit stronger maybe than like your stencil adhesives. Um, whew, in Anyway, I, I kind of like it. So once you spray it, let it sit for a minute, just to, uh, just so it gets tacky. New to your paint. Oh, hi, Cindy. Just breathe. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. I've been doing this for so long. I don't know why I'm so weird about it. I've been doing it for years, like since 2013. Like there's hundreds and hundreds of videos. Oh, I hate these glasses. They're yellow. These are my internet glasses. <laughs> Y'all hear some. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I just. I don't know. I got in my head, you know, you don't know Cindy probably, but I got in my head and then I, you know, talked myself out of doing it. And even my husband said the other day, he'd been off all week. He's like, you didn't do very many lives. You know, why aren't you doing any lives? I don't know. I don't know. Just felt weird about it. Okay. So I want to make sure I do anything with that cut. I just don't think I can. Okay, well, I want to make sure this is my short piece right there. So I'm going to make sure I get that. And then I'm folding it up over here. Folding it up, just kind of see, let it go how it wants to go. Let it do what it wants to do. And then I'm going to flip it over and see what the heck I got. Oh, I kind of, you know what? I kind of like the neutral of it. I'm kind of glad I... I did that. I know you guys were like, oh, you need pink and red. But Cindy, you haven't met me yet. But I am, um, it was from an antique show. But it was, it's, um, I like a lot of neutrals. Um, I, I don't know why. I had a lot of color at Christmas. And then I was like, okay, I'm ready for a break. And I went, you know, all frosty whites and creams and stuff. So I've got an opening here where, you know, I cut the stitching. So I'm just going to hot glue it down. Should be fine. Okay. And then I'm going to have to probably cut a couple of slits that are going to overlap because it's going around now. So, oh, okay, Cindy, you got, you got it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, the tips of these are great, aren't they? Okay, let's see here. Oh, I don't like seeing that's underneath there. Oh, there, that looks better. So if it doesn't look good one way, flip it over and try the other, and that's much better. You guys can probably see that. But yeah, so we did a bunch of decorating at her house today. We tore down Christmas. I did take some pictures. She had, 
She's got a lot of stuff. She's a big shopper. And um, she always says, I know how to, I know how to buy it and find it and all that, but I don't know how to put it together. So she has us girls come in and, and do that for her. Uh, every, well, I want to say holiday and season. And just whenever she's feeling blah, we'll go, we'll go in and shake up her world. <laughs> Make her house look like someone else's, right? And we do, we all enjoy it. I say all of us. I take all, we paint houses for a living. So it's a nice break. Uh, Linda, I didn't send out a notification. This is just a silly little craft and it's nothing, you know, get too excited about. And I thought, oh, I don't want people to be disappointed. So I didn't send any. <laughs> and two, I've been working on taxes. Who started that? I started pulling all my papers and getting all that together. And I have this super nice, um, I love it. It's it's a texting service that gives notifications. That's what Linda's talking about. But do you know, I paid a thousand dollars for that this year, just for this year. That's so terrible. Like that's a lot just to tell people I'm going live when I haven't been doing that many lives. So I, I may have to do away with it. Um, I have a private group and what I do like is letting those girls know when I'm going live. And so, um, I have telegram and I actually had the app pulled up and was going to, you know, send a notification that way to whoever signed up for that. And then, like I said, I get, I get, I get in my head, just being honest with you guys. Cause if I'm going to start coming around again, seeing you guys, um, you know, I feel like uh, you need to know what's going on with me, where I'm coming from. So yes, Telegram. So I have a Telegram app. I think it's linked in, I think it's posted at the top. I'm not very good at all that. Uh, another flaw of mine. I'm not giving you guys all my flaws. <laughs> but I'm not very good at that technical stuff, but I do have a Telegram. I think you can search by my name. It's Tammy Loves Vintage. Um, it, the reason why I didn't jump on that wagon is in this other texting service, I can, um, the girls in my group can get a, like, used to be I didn't know how to set it up. I'm, so if I was going live in the group, I'd tell everybody that I was going live in the group. And I felt like that was kind of like, haha, you're missing it. I don't know. I always felt bad to do that. And then I figured out how to make a separate little group in Telegram. So if anybody's listening to me <laughs> blabber <laughs> about Telegram, um, send your link for your Telegram. Okay, um, and I do know how to do that. I think it's I think it's linked already somewhere up there in my when you get out of this. Um, boy, a sewer person is probably just cringing right now looking at me do this. But I'll get it. I'll get it. It's just a long way around. Anyway, um, I, w I, I don't know how, I don't know if Telegram will allow me to do just my group. Maybe I should, maybe, maybe what I could do is a Telegram under my group name. That's what I could do. I just, I hate to make people sign up for two things, but you know what? Those girls wouldn't mind. They've been with me a long time. Um, maybe I could do that. It just hit me. Did anyone notice the light bulb go off? <laughs> it just hit me. Um, yeah, I bet I could do that. Open another, open another page, another whatever tel Telegram channel, like whatever, and just do two of them. I don't know. If any of you smart girls around here that know about Telegram and have that same situation, let me know. Because if they do that, that would sure save a lot of money. It just seems silly. I don't, you know, people, everybody's talking about, oh, they you know, they do this for a job. I don't, <laughs> I don't, you know, where's your paycheck? How do you do this for a job? I don't know. I have a business coach, <laughs> but <clears throat> I don't, I guess I've always, I've always had a coach, but I don't really do, <laughs> I don't really do a lot with that either. 
Oh, I'm telling you guys all my flaws. Happy New Year. <laughs> Tell me all my troubles. Save Centrally. Okay, I will, Linda. I will for sure. I think... <clears throat> Do I have a package from you? I think... Yes, I have a package from you. I thought I recognized it. Yes. So, okay. See, this is looking nice, though. Look. It's a little lumpy from the um, sewing. And then it's a little pocketed, a little ripply because it can't get underneath the patches. Um, but I think it looks good. So I just have to fill in a little patch here. And then I have to figure out, are you down? I, I tend to forget to put you down too. That's another flaw. <laughs> I'll just tell you right now. <laughs> so sometimes you watch me and then I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to put you down. Uh, okay. So now this point, hmm, this is another, I'm hmm, not sure how to do it. So from being a wallpaper hanger, I know to allow myself a little over, like let it overlap a little bit. Okay. I'm going to do the little, I have a little one. I have a set of these. I'm going to do the little one too, but I may not bother you guys with that. I just kind of. I tend to make things and then say, look what I made. And <laughs> you guys are like, how'd you do that? So uh, this just didn't seem like it was that <laughs> difficult of a, of a thing, but you know, it seemed like a good idea and I kind of wanted to get it done. So here we are. So what's new with you all? Yes, I'm sure I'm gonna like it, Linda. I'm absolutely sure. Okay, so now I've left way too much because look, I finished that corner pretty daggone good for me. So let me go ahead and tack this part down. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped about that, actually. So let's just, I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer than I need, angle it in, see what I got. Okay, let's see what I got here. Still liking it, still happy with it. Not happy with this cream colored backing that I'm seeing. Oops, and there's some strings. Don't want to lose those, but I'm not liking this underneath part. Get rid of that. This is the top part. I could fold that over, but dang, I don't think I need to. I think I need to skinny this down a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. So that's a good tip though. If you guys are doing something like this, make it bigger and just inch your way until you get there. Because once you whack it off, you're, you can't go back. Like it's off, you're done, it's over. So if you leave yourself a little bit of forgiveness, um, it's always nice. It's always nice to have a little forgiveness. <laughs> okay. Which is, there's my brown. No, it's not. I thought that was my brown from out of here, but it's not. Here it is. It's not the same though, but it looks okay. And there's nothing really here to keep. I just wanna make sure I don't wanna keep any of my little scraplets. Not really. There's nothing fantastic. Oh, let's see, I kept one here. Let's see what this does. It's kind of really off color. Hmm. Oh, but I like that. Hmm. Did I glue that down? Oh, what an idiot, I did. Here, I can get up this side. Let's see if I can get up this other side. Hi, Esmeralda. I know, you paid $40 for a small square of one. Yes, they're awesome. Really, really awesome. Okay, I'm up enough that I can get in here. So, I was liking this right here. Okay, or do I wanna go over top? Wait a minute, do I wanna go 
no, I don't want to go over top because I, it's this bottom part that I keep seeing. Maybe I can cut that out and lay it over top and have a cleaner edge. Let's just see here. Let's just see. So if you're new to my page, I, I love, of course, I'm Tammy and I love vintage. <laughs> oh, what a silly name for my page. That was hard to come up with, right? <laughs> Oh, actually, I had a store and um, it was called Tammy Loves, and I called it that so that I could be broad with um, with whatever I was. You know, we had chalk paint, we had country chic chalk paint there, we had jewelry, we had antiques. So for ads, you know, Tammy could love different things every week. You know what I mean? So that was kind of a creative. It was great for that. Okay, no, wait, I'm not gonna lay this down. Okay, I'm gonna lay that all back down that I tore up. And I'm gonna shove this back in here while the glue's hot and figure it out. Okay. And so then when I started the page, um, or I had my page and it was the same as my store, and then when I closed the store, I was all saddy sad about it. So I um, I just made it Tammy Loves Vintage and changed it. So, hello. My husband just got out of our work. <gasps> Hi, Shelby. Uh, it is a Choc Couture heart. They, I have a set of them. So, yeah. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. So anyway, when then I decided to change the name to Tammy Loves Vintage because I felt like I needed a focus. Hi. I'm doing a live. Uh uh, that was last night. You can have it if you want it. No. I'm just getting all this patchwork <laughs> patched in. Patching my patchwork. There's a string. I, don't want I can clean this all up later, later. I don't know. Maybe I should have done this one by myself. I see, you never know. I know in the end it's going to be cute. You guys are going to want to know how I did it. I'm thinking ahead. I am thinking past this yucky part. Okay. So I'm cutting this off a little bit more because I know I don't need all this back here and I thought about painting the back and doing something like that um or paper or what I just ordered um I just started carrying decoupage queen I'm not carrying them no 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 I'm not I'm lying um Jolene is her name that has it and um I signed up to be an affiliate that's what I did <laughs> I knew I signed up to do something. Hi, Jeannie. Hi. Hey, how, was it you that fell, the dog um, ran into you and hurt your leg? I haven't talked to you in a long time. I think that was you, wasn't it? I don't know how I remember. Oh, I'm not sure I did remember that, but I think it was you was you how are you um okay so now hmm, now i'm gonna have to glue all this little stuff down right yeah because i don't want that hanging out okay so let's glue all this junk down maybe i should have left it a little longer to have room have something to glue my spray adhesive, I can feel it a little bit, but it's not strong enough to turn it. Yes, broke your leg in six play. I thought that was you. How are you doing? Yes, isn't that crazy? The dog was running and it ran into her. Um, It's been a while ago now, a few months. I'm pretty sure. I can't believe I remembered that, but I did. Sounded terrible. Yeah, 
I hope she's okay too. I was just thinking about her last night, actually. It's funny how you kind of befriend people on here and you've never even met them and you feel like you know them. much better you're still limping oh but you're walking so no crutches or anything like that anymore gosh that's got to be nice but still limping oh do you have to do I'm sure you have to do physical therapy that's a stupid question you probably have to do a lot of that what do we, what do they have you do they have you swimming can you cut the heart, cut out a heart? Yes, I can, Jeannie, but I, or Jean, um, sorry, I was talking to Jeannie. Um, just to clean it up, you mean? Yeah, I sure can. But I don't want to do it out of the quilt, so I don't want to waste the quilt. And I have another idea <laughs> for the back. So, okay, whew, that was a lot of work to get to that point, but we did it. We made it through. Okay, I need to glue that little flappy flap right there down. Dang, we made it through. Okay, that's all I care about. All right. So, here's where we are. I wish she would have feathered that seam. There's a seam right there. It doesn't have feather stitching. <laughs> it's right stinking in the middle of my heart, too. Figures. I missed it. All right, here we go. Now, um... What I want to do, gosh, that took me a lot longer <laughs> to figure out than I, than I planned. And then I think what I, um, I, I, I am so sounding like Barb last night. I gotta have an operation. Oh no. So then you have to start over. Basically. It can't be, it can't be as bad as it was in the beginning. It can't, it couldn't be. So that is just um, tacky glue, and you can use, I know this from doing our Santas, you can do the um, the tacky glue for fabric pretty well, and it tacks up pretty fast. So I just did that just to hold down all those little stringy things, you know. So here we are. Now, last night when I was, you know, trying to decide what I wanted to do with this thing, I can't believe how long it took me to be sure what I wanted to do. But I have this lace. It's vintage. It's not old, old, um, <coughs> but it's, you know, it's vintage. Okay. So what I did, now to know me is to know I am no sewer. I think I've already explained that to you. But what I find when you're sewing things, <coughs> so... So, I sewed this. You see, you see my, you, I don't know if you can tell, but it makes it ruffle. You can see it ruffle <coughs> instead of this. See the difference? Straight. This is sewn and drawn, you know, shirred on a little bit. So, because I thought I would put this down here like this okay like that and that's super cute but then I thought maybe I want it to be a little fuller but I don't know maybe I don't now that I look at that it looks fine so let's just see here if that makes a difference oh yeah way different See, can you see the difference? I don't know if you guys can tell if you just think I'm a nutball. Let's see. Okay, there it is, sewn. Here it is, straight. Yeah, I like it sewn. I like it sewn. I think it's just fluffier. A running, yes, that's what I did. Oh, that sounds much better than just plain old sewing. 
I did a running stitch, you guys. <laughs> and ruched it on. Yes, ruched. Yes, exactly correct. Oops, got a little loose spot right here. Glue that down. It's not loose, it's where the patchwork quilt or the crazy quilt or whatever you want to call it. Uh, oh, I got a creep on here. Oh boy. If you're not a crafter, get lost. Oh, did somebody already get rid of him? Oh, I can't find him. No, I guess. Now clear back to where Jeannie was. Can we just? Oh, you guys, creeps on here. I don't see it. Let me look. Let me let me look in my here where I can see better. Crafter just don't have a page. Catherine, you should get one. I don't see. Sharon replied to Sharon. Oh, I see him. Ralph. Well, I can't delete him on here. Uh, he commented on somebody. Ralph, I see him. Oh, that's not so bad. <laughs> he could say a lot worse, right? Let's see. Oh, so I hid that. So I guess he has to say something else for me to block him. So, well, well just, anyway. Yes, if you're just sitting there crafting, it is it is fun to do this with people because instead of doing it yourself, you have someone to talk to. Whoops. You know, you kind of have someone to hang out with. But, um, aw. But at the same time, you got to have yourself together. You got to have your supplies got to be all right there. And you got to have a plan and, you know, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. And you gotta have thick skin because sometimes you get Ralphs. <laughs> sometimes you get a Ralph or two. <laughs> you know. Do I have another one? Or is that still him? You just ignored him. Uh, well, I hit it. What didn't? I was looking on my iPad and I'm not live on my iPad, so I couldn't do anything it would be like you guys trying to do something so hopefully he went away so yeah i just hit it then i couldn't go back and remove him because i i hit it <laughs> i hit it for myself too okay oh this is gonna be so cute It is relaxing. I feel the same way. That's probably why I like watching more than doing. <laughs> or I'm doing while they're doing, you know, just listening to them jibber jabber. Okay, coming around the corner here, you guys. Yeah, it's not it's not a super exciting fun one to watch, is it? I see that. Sorry about that. Boy, I wish you were all in my group this month. I've got the coolest thing that I figured out. And I'm practicing. I never practice first. Usually in that group, we just go for it. I do it and see how we figure it out, you know, and I tell them what not to do or what to make sure they do. And this one, I need a little practice, so. That's what I did last night, after I sewed this. Uh, sometimes Ralph's, you go. Oh, you blocked him. Oh, Cindy, I didn't know you could do that. Well, thank you very much. You're a powerful woman. <laughs> I appreciate you. You had my back. Thank you. I'll post some pictures of that lady's house today what it looked like when we came in and what it looked like when we left and she had um she lives there alone she has a big big dining room. well not big 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 but a nice size dining room table and she likes us to fill it she doesn't eat there and just to see an empty table 
with chairs around it does not thrill her. She likes to see her stock. So you always fill it up and it, a lot of times I'll share her pictures or th her things in here. And sometimes people will comment and say, how do you even eat at that table? But she doesn't, you know, we all have different situations in our life and different scenarios and she doesn't use that table. Okay. I'm at the end. So, and I kept my needle going. But now I gotta find my string. I was thinking about that. When I cut my string. Oh, there it is. There it is right there. Okay, I'm gonna put a knot in it so I don't lose any more. And then I'll put the tail of this, um, I'll put the tail of this lace in my scraps. Never want to throw it away. Okay, there's two. Let's do three just to be, if I can hit them in the same spot. Oh yeah. Okay, there's three. So, cut that off. And then I'm going to cut this tail off right here. And then this will go in my scrap box. Okay. And then I still have a little bit. I hoped that I sewed enough to do both hearts. But I don't think I'm going to do both hearts with you guys. That's, you get, you get the gist. So, okay. Oh my gosh. So cute. So there's what we got. I'll bring it up to you. So cute. Now, if you don't have a quilt, you can do it with anything. You got an old sweater, like an old um, cream colored uh, sweater. Well, any sweater really would work. Any fabric would work. Any heart shape at a craft store would work. Um, yeah, I think it's super cute. So there you go. Then what I was thinking, oh, I wish, hmm. Well, let me see here how I can do this. How can I do this? I've already sewed this. I was thinking to make like a little circle like this, like a little thing, you know, like you see a little like that and put it maybe here with a little puddle of buttons on top like that. Maybe. But by the time I cover this and add lace to it, maybe I want it on the little one, or maybe it's enough and I don't need it at all. So, so I'm not gonna do, <laughs> I'm not gonna do any more, you guys. So, because what I wanna do, yes, make a yo-yo. I just saw that crystal, yes. So what I'm gonna do um, is cover the other one and do the exact same thing that I've done. And then I'm gonna sit back and look at them together. I'm probably gonna sit them, I'm probably, well, I know I might, I might have to easel it actually. I might have to put it on an easel. And I don't know that I'll attach them. I may, I don't know. Another one, Penny, <laughs> a posy, yes. Let's see, we view, I got another one. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's the same one. I don't know. Anyway, we're just just don't worry about it. It's fine. Um. Yes, 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 Catherine. So anyway, um, that's what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna do another one, and I'm just gonna do the same thing we did. So we don't need to really do that together. And then um, I'm. I'm just thinking. Am I gonna? I I think I'll wait and post it whenever I do my. I, I could just do a quickie display of it. I, we were talking today, the girls I work with and uh, my client, Shayla, and she was saying how she missed, um, missed me doing like walk my website Wednesdays. And I used to always go around and decorate and stuff with you guys with all my antique things. And, you know, I just haven't done a whole lot. And I really, it's a new year. It's a new time. And, you know, I need to do that. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. Truly, I do. And I see you watching everybody else. I'm like, gosh, oh, she's my friend too. I need to say hi. I need to get to watch her. So yeah. So okay. So I have some friends on here, like you guys, that um, wanted to send some stuff. And I, you know, I get some stuff from time to time. And I usually open it. Like here last week, I got from a couple of people. Um, 
Mary Brunken sent me, she watches, and she saw me doing a Santa, and she works at a, um, oh, I think it's some kind of a thrift shop um, thing, uh, thrift shop, oh, there it is, there's one more buckle, um, hi, Teresa, uh, antique looking tack, oh, that would be super, what a great idea, I love that idea. I've got some upholstery tacks. Oh, I really like that. Even if I just did like three or four and three, like, yeah. Oh, I love that. Who said that? Penny. Yes, Penny. Way to go, girl. I like that idea a lot. Um, so, Missy Brunken sent me these things that I can create with for Christmas. And three, look how pretty those are. They're like the shiny brights. Sent me those. And then this, this is an awesome little guy for one of my tins or one of my creations. So new people, you're going to be like, what the heck? Um, you can keep watching <laughs> and it, it'll come to you eventually if you follow me. Um, but what I was thinking is what a great guy here. I think I could pop this outfit off. Yeah, I totally can. I can pop this shirt off. And I may just leave the hat, and because I can retrim the hat. But to make molds, to make our own for our pipe cleaner people and our little Santas, like they don't all have to be Santas. And um, a couple of you girls were telling me how to do it, and I think I got it figured out. So most of my other people are shrouded in stuff, and I can't get to them. But I thought he might be a good one to try my hand at making that. So I'm so excited. Uh, oh, Catherine, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so here's a little deer. He's super cute. He's this deer, isn't he? And some um, metal bells. So those will be great on a tin. Of course, I realize Christmas is done, but I'm never done with Christmas. Um, look at this little matchbook. It's a little matchbook, but look at, she's a pipe cleaner with the cotton spun head, a pipe cleaner girl, with just a flat. What a great idea for any of your projects. And then here's the buckles that she sent. There might be one more that slid down in this box. Um, there might be one more, but these tiny ones are the best, but these make great buckles for our Santa belts. And she was watching me and she's like, I think I've got some buckles I can send you. And then this little locket, heart locket. Awesome. Oh, yep. Here's the other buckle right here. Uh, <clears throat> and look at this. Look at this little mouse with the ever so tiny pipe cleaner. Look at that. Those old, old pipe cleaners. He's furry. He's missing his eyes, but I think we can take care of that. I'm thinking like um, um, straight pens, maybe popping off the little black dots instead. Of, I don't want to do Sharpie, you know. Uh, and then these little cars little plastic cars and then this was my so for her the belt buckles she knew I would love the locket she knew I would love I mean she knew I would love this the elf the mat she knew she knew and then these two I love these but what was my absolute like oh my gosh is this I have never seen a pipe cleaner Santa as a star so it is, so I was like, I didn't tear it apart, but I studied it and it was, it's just the bumps. So, so you girls that have followed me, you know about the bump pipe cleaners, how they get fuzzy and then taper down and then fuzzy again and taper down. And they just put three of them together and put the face over and this, so the clay face that I was talking about trying to make, of course, it's way too big for this particular thing, but, um, there's so many of these older, like this is old, old, old. I just couldn't be more excited about it. And, um, but the old, old have really great little faces and you can't find them. I mean, you can't find them. So if you can, I can't, <laughs> I can't. So unless they're buying old things and tearing it apart. So then I got this package was from, who was this? Oh, Mary. Oh, yeah, Mary Travis. Yes, and I I, did, I started to open it, and then I thought, nope, I'm going to wait and do it on the live because Miss Mary, this she sent me several things, and <clears throat> I peeked at this, and then I hurriedly, I hurriedly put it away because I thought, no, this is, oh, my gosh, this is all so, like, 
I think what happens is you guys watch me make things and talk about how hard they are to find and also how expensive. You just got one of those Santas, but it's missing an arm. Really? As a star, I've never seen one. And you know how much of this shopping you do. First of all, she said super old, old glitter. Love that. And then she sent a box of these foil stars and it's not, it's what I saw when I looked at this was the box itself for a Christmas decoration, just the box, not even the stars. Like truly I could, um, I guess I could come in here and spray adhesive, like dump everything out of this box, spray adhesive it or Mod Podge or whatever, and stick all of these stars so that they all stayed in the middle. Put this back on. Like how pretty is that for, like to put up on a tin or whatever. So I know you girls that don't follow me are like, I don't know what she's talking about. I'm like talking another language, aren't I? <laughs> to you girls. Oh, but most of you know what I mean. So then lots of little angels. Look at this little star. Love that. Um, here's another look at her. I could not love it more. I could not love it more. Here's a little white one. Here's a little blue one. Like, oh, Mary. My, my heart's like bigger than my chest. <laughs> so awesome. So look at all these little people. These are real old uh, pipe cleaner with the um, cotton spun heads. Okay, let me continue here. So as I work with these, I've told people, keep these, keep these pipe cleaners. If you snip them off for anything, look at this little snowman. Oh my gosh. He's definitely going to be one I make. Um, here's just a couple of, of, um, like, look at him. So you guys know that follow, look at his earmuffs. You guys know that follow, that follow me, how great this is, right? So, okay. She's great. Here's, here's three of those. Here's another one. Here's another one. I could change their dresses. You know what I mean? It's the heads. It's the, it's just the whole thing. And then there was another angel, another little cotton batting head so I can make my own. Um, another Santa. And then deer. There's three little deer. Here's a little green candy cane. <laughs> I just love it all. I love all these deer. Oh my gosh. So, oh my gosh, right? Mary Travis. Mary Travis and Missy Brumfield so far. Okay, now there's more from Mary, so let's see. I did not I did not go any deeper. Let's see. Oh Mary. Oh my gosh. Here's another little guy. I could do I could try and do um I could try and do a mold off of him. Yeah, I could totally keep it clean. Oh, he's great. Super great. Look at this. I, I guess I wanted to show you this. I Mary had sent some pictures. I don't remember now. She sent them a while ago. Asked if I was interested in any of this. And I'm like, yes, all of it. <laughs> Whatever you don't want. And I think she sent it all to me. So... But I want you guys to know, like, there's Christmas all year round. When you're out shopping, you can find Christmas all year round. And when you're yard sailing, like, don't forget to peek at all of these things. Because a lot of these, like, I would have thrown these away back, back not that long ago. I would have thought that is a crumpled up piece of crap. <laughs> like, that is tired. And now I look at it like it's gold. So... Just trying to train you guys for the same. Oh, look at this little tree. It's so cute. It's a pla it's plastic. It's not brush. Um, love these. These are kind of new to me, and they're beaded. They're little beaded sticks. Um, I, th I think I need to work on them a little bit to push them back up. But these are great for behind. Like, I can't really put it behind anything. I don't really have anything this colorway, but um, eh, he might work, but. Like, see, like to make your project a little more festive, I think they're cool. Look at this deer. He's awesome. This whole little corsage. So you want to keep, so this probably had, 
This is the back of it. So this would be the front. Um, I'm going to say, see there's still some beads on here. I'm going to say someone has beaded these pipe cleaners, but I'll snip them off and keep them. I'll keep the little satin bow. I can add a little bit, like I can fix this up and it'll be fantastic. And you guys will be like, oh, I want that. You just watch. Here's a, um, I don't know that I can do a whole lot with this. I was just thinking. I don't do a lot of big things either, but it's great. And sometimes when I get things like this, that's still great and I don't want to throw it out, I put together little bundles for you guys for sales. Um, and sometimes that's, those are the kind of things because you also know how many I have. So, um, look at this. This is a deer. Can you make him? Yeah, you can make him out. That is cool. That's so cool. So I think it needs a little bit of softer greens added in. I could even paint him if I wanted to, um, tone down the red. He'd be pretty in gold or silver or whatever. This guy's a hoot. Okay, so these, there's another bead that came off of, not this, but it came off, oh, I know that thing with the white. Um, okay, so let's go to this. I remember this from her picture. So I just did, what did I make with that? You guys might remember. Remember it was, it was all skin colored and I painted it red and made a Santa, it was in my group, might have been in my group, I don't know. Super cute though, his googly, he doesn't have googly eyes. Maybe I have a different one from somebody else with googly eyes. I don't know. But anyway, he's made with Christmas bulbs, you guys. Two bulbs, a big one and a small one. Wrapped some, looks like felt. And made a little, made a little Santa. Cute as can be. And then this is, this would have clipped onto the tree and had a candle in it. Um, but how neat, you know, I might, you never know what I'm going to use. I have a drawer of what... Of what is that? <laughs> Sometimes it's great. And then she wrapped it all, look, in old pattern paper, which you know I'm going to keep. Mary, you know me so well. Oh, look at this. Oh, two little boots, little flocked boots. Whoops, I'm showing you the back. And there's a Santa waving. Oh my gosh. They're great, they're matching. They're really great. Mary, thank you so much. Missy, thank you so much. Okay, so let's keep going. Hey, Randy. Yeah. Did you turn the oven off? Did you pull that out? It should be done. I made, oh, I don't think this is something I ordered. Hang on. I think this is something I ordered. I don't think this is a gift. This is from Mary Beth. Um, let me see. I, I think this is a, I'm like in a group thing. Um, let me see. Thank you. Yeah. Let's see. What the heck is all this? Hmm. She put a little snowflake um, <laughs> thing. That's cute. Let's see here. How sweet. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. I ordered this. So when I was talking about tins, look at this one. I love the shiny red and it's it's little. Like I love the size of it. So I, I did, I won that in an, uh, like an auction thing. I don't remember if it was, in, oh yeah, here's something else. And then that's it. Okay, let's see what this is. I know I got Sad, I don't know. Oh. It's a um, 95 inches of glass beads, silver glass beads. So when you saw these beads and the beads that were strung onto the um, pipe cleaners, it's off of these, well, I mean, I can't be for sure, but that's what I would take them off of. And like the glass beads can get broken sometimes, but they're great to craft with. Um, I have a lady that I follow, this was $18. I have a lady that I follow that would never, or, yeah, well, Michelle, you guys know Michelle. She's like, I won't cut up my garlands, but I do, I do. Um, okay, let's see 
what else we got? I'm telling you, my, my chair was full when I got home. The other reason I wanted to go live so I could see it. <laughs> see. see what I got? Okay, this one is from... Well, it's from Coral Springs, Illinois. There's no name on it. Coral Springs, Coral Springs, Illinois. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know who we got this from. Oh my gosh. gosh. You know how I was telling you we need fur hats. Is this from, is this from Tara? Tara, is this you? Coral Springs, Illinois. Boy, why do I think Tara? I think this is from Tara. Yes! Um, wow, what a great hat to craft with. Oh, it's almost too good to craft with. Um, for Santa fur. I, and I'm, I don't only do Christmas. It's just I'm, you know, stepping out of the season. Oh my gosh, look at these little mugs. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're adorable. Look at them. Any Instagrammers know how valuable these are to get. Oh, I'm sure this is Tara. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. And what's this? Like a little, um, like a little elf guy to put on my tins. It's, he's got an, does he have an axe or a broom? He's so cute, actually. Yeah, he's cute. He's porcelain. He's a, he's a name card. Like he can, you can put a card in there. Like he could be a holder. Um, and then there's old, oh, look, some old Valentine's. Cool. I wonder. Yeah, because that one's from Linda, and this one's from Jody. This has to be from Tara, because she she messaged me last night and said she was sending. Oh my gosh, look at these! Harriet Sims, Mary, no Harriet Miller, Mary Sims, Ruth Quarter, and Ann Edwards. It's like little calling cards. See, he's a little heart, a little holder. How cute. Easter. Love the pansies. Look at this. Look at the writing. Great to journal with. Old envelope. Oh, she dug into her treasures for sure. Wow. How cute is that? And look at this old, it's an old bag of all Valentine to cut, oh, and a little valentine that says, let's be valentine. Heck yeah, I'll be your valentine. <laughs> Heck yeah, girl. Let's see what's this. Easter, so we have a valentine or a shovel, a shovel. Oh yeah, he could be holding a shovel or a broom or an ax. It's not a broom. Yeah, maybe it is a shovel. I don't know. I don't have any little old Easter stuff. Oh my gosh. He is the coolest. Look at these little, oh my gosh. No, he's the coolest. <laughs> Look. Like what a cute, I wonder if this would fit down in there. I wouldn't do this, but you could. <laughs> you could give him a little happy collar. Oh, I can't get over the mugs. They're fantastic. Look at that. Oh my gosh. How adorable. Wow. Oh, what's these? A bunch of little, um, oh wow. These are cool. Bunch, like a bunch of little clear, almost like clings. How cool is that? Oh, oh. So cute. I'm gonna have to look through all of this again. 
Easter Novelty Basket Fillers. They're little yarn bunnies. You guys, we could make those. See how they gathered the legs and gathered the arms? I had a Santa Claus like this. Cute. So cute. Tara, I know this is from you. Thank you so, 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 so much. Put those mugs safely aside. Wow, that was, that was fun, right? Yay, yes, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to all of us. Just watching is fun, I'm sure. I always watch, I love to watch people get no stuff. Let's see, this is from Jody Maravilla. Oh, that's such a pretty name. Jody Maravilla. I'm gonna make sure I said it right. From Wisconsin. greenery to craft with it's all beaded like so these are like almost like um the stamens like remember when i said i needed the little eyeballs for whatever needed eyeballs something needed them perfect love it oh i see some little bells in there oh my gosh oh my gosh this is Paper mache. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. He's paper mache, and this is a styrofoam ball, and his body seems to be styrofoam. But oh, I love the ruffle. Isn't that neat, you guys? We have to do something like that. We have to make something like that. I love it. Look at that ruffle. Hi, hi, Jaren. Yes, Lou. Hi, Julie. Yeah, how fun. Okay. <laughs> no peeking your head. <laughs> and then I have a great big box here from um, Linda, who, who was on here earlier. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Oh my gosh, another mug. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad that I have to pack these up. That is three mugs in one day. That is unheard of. There are girls on Instagram with like hundreds of these in cabinets all sitting all together. They are amazing. Hi, Patricia. Yeah, jackpot, no doubt. They stack. If you guys have seen my videos in my cabinet, I had eight. Now I have 11. <laughs> okay. Oh, the little snowman hats are look well, they look like snowman hats to me. Little hats to craft with. Hmm. To think about that. What can I make with that? My brain's hurting. <laughs> I see all this stuff I have to make. <laughs> Oh, yeah, these, that's exactly what these are. They're little flower stamens because you can see how they were wrapped. So this would be like the center of old flowers. How neat. And if you remember, well, the, I, didn't, I haven't shown you guys how to do this yet, but in our group, we made feather trees. And this was the ends of the trees was made like this with these little stamens. How neat. And then some bells. Some little bells to craft with. How cool is that? How cool is that? From Jody Maravilla. All right. So then the next one. I'm not seeing these people on here. I know. I know. I, I'm like thinking. So this one's from Linda. This is our last one. And since I committed to the decoupage queen with the... Um, Rice papers. I made a project with rice paper. What the heck was it? Hmm. What the heck did I do? I can't remember what I made, but I hadn't really messed around with rice paper. What did I make? Oh, I remember. I know what I made for Julie. Um, this, I have this gift bag. Like this, I have, I have right there and I used a rice paper it was angels and I cut it out and made it work to do all four sides and then I ripped this paper off and I used I 
I kept this cording because I was going to do another one, and I never made another one, but that's what I used the rice paper for. So I just did it private. Um, I didn't do it with anybody, but yeah. And then I was hooked. So then I started like looking at rice paper people and the decoupage queen came up to my mind. Um, thank you for the shipping supplies. Look at all this bubble wrap I've got because I'm going to have to have a sale here soon. Ooh. Oh, wow. I use this. This is... Um, Really fine. She heard me. <laughs> Linda, you heard me when I said that I had to pay. What well, what did I pay? $18 or something like that to get this gold um <laughs> this this gold thread. <laughs> so she sent me some. <laughs> she said, don't do that again. Yeah. Because this hung, hung, hangs my little pine cone people. It's so fine. You can't see, you can't even hardly, like I'm holding it up here. Try to find a place for you guys to see. You there, you saw a little sparkle. You can't even hardly see it. It's so fine, but it's so perfect to hang things on your tree with. Oh, oh, she sent me two bags of it. How cool. This is more like a wire though. This is, this is the string. This is really fine wire. Oh, how cool. Same thing, but wire. Ooh, that'll be easier. You can use it for hair too. I see that, Linda. Look, because you know what I use for hair is embroidery floss, like this. This is what I always use for hair, like for blonde or what well, you can see, I whacked some off there. See, on the back of, here's a little head. So like for her, she's upside down, for her, and then you would give her, you know, a little bit of hair. See, they make like an angel with her. So cute. So anyway, that's what I've been using, but the gold will be really pretty. Linda, oh, look at this. Oh my. An old velvet dress. Look at this trim and old fur. Oh, how neat is this? Oh, I don't, oh, I don't want to cut it up. Wow. Yeah. How cool. I can't even, I can't even think like I'm thinking. But look at all of the trim I got. Look at the collar. Old lace. Look at the little snaps. How neat is that going to be? That is going to be so cool for a project. Oh, sh Linda, wasn't it you that painted these little gourds? I'm thinking she paints these like snowmen, right? How cute. I've never seen them that small before. Love them. Oh, now you're testing my painting ability. Oh. Aw, I'll read it. It says, hi, Tammy. I hope your holidays were great. Hope you can use some of the items. The velvet doll dress came from an old doll that fell apart. Have fun crafting and see you online, Linda. Aw, yes, you were the one. Okay, oh, I'm seeing fur. What in the world? Look at this. It's, what in the world would it have been? Like a trim? All these little balls, you guys, what great bunny tails. I'm seeing bunny tails is what I'm seeing. Look at that. Now I'm gonna have to make a bunny because what a perfect tail. They're on strings. Do you think they're, um, what is she just, yes. Hmm. This is so awesome. This feels like real fur. This feels re like real fur. I bet you made bunnies, didn't you? <laughs> Did you make bunnies? Oh, 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 here's another. Oh, she had a hat. More. Oh my gosh. Look at this velvet. Look at this velvet. It 
was a jacket or something. She's made something. You know, I'm going to have to show it. It is real fur. I knew it. She's cut something up here and shared pieces because we are into velvet right now, big time. Look at this. Boy, this will make a beautiful pumpkin in the fall. Look at that paisley. How pretty is that? Boy, the lady that I worked for today, she, uh, her daughter passed away. Uh, hang on. I'm thinking. Oops, I knocked a box off. I'm thinking here. She gave me a, um, let me see if I can she gave me, I dropped it down in my purse. Here it is. Someone gifted her, I shouldn't have threw it in my purse like that. Someone gifted her this glass angel and she wanted me to put it on black velvet, she thought. Oh, you had a pair of pants like that. It was a coat, okay. And then she said, but I'm not sure it's wrapped in plastic. Let's see if I can get this plastic off of here. Anyway, she wants me to frame it and display this glass angel. And I'm wondering, since she was like liking the black but not sure. Um, boy, this is the first thing that came to my mind. She said I don't have to use this ribbon because that ribbon's not very great. And frame it. She wants me to frame it, of course. So I've got it, and I'm trying to figure out what size frame, like, you know, this is a new project that just came up. So, anyway, yeah. That may be really pretty on there, though. Instead of black, plain black, it gives it a little, but is it distracting? I don't know. I'm going to take a picture of it and send it to her. She might like that. I was thinking like a little oval frame. Hmm. Let me see. I asked her like a five by seven. This is for a different project. So Shaylee, you don't get this. <laughs> no, it's too small. Too small. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just came to my mind. Thank you, Linda. Thank you all. Gosh. You have more? Oh no, this is plenty. This will be great. Actually, I can share a piece with Julie too, it looks like, and even Sherry. No, I think we're good. That is beautiful. It's very, very pretty. Thank you for sharing your coat with me. <laughs> yeah, an antique gold frame. But I don't know about the gold because this is all silver. I want to do gold too, but it's silver. And I don't mind mixing my, my metals. Um, she has both in her home, so she's not going to care one way or the other. Yeah, I don't know. I might like that. And then here's a box. Oh, oh, buckles. White box. I see it, girl. I see it. She sent me buckles. Oh, wow. She sent me all kinds of buckles and buttons. That, oh, look at, look, look. Little teeny ones, more buckles. You girls saw me, oh wow. These look like buckles. They are buckles, doll slide. This is a doll slide. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oh my gosh. Oh Linda, yes, you girls have me all set no matter what size Santa I wanna make. I am set and look at this one. I can get it out of its box. Oh, these are so fantastic. Look at that. <coughs> Look at that fancy one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Better than I ever could have dreamed. <laughs> Look. Oh my gosh. I would have to make a big Santa and use that. That's too fantastic. Huh. I need a head. <coughs> I need a Santa head bigger than what I have. Wow. That's a lot, you guys. That's a lot. Wow. I'm overwhelmed. I don't even, I'm overwhelmed. So thank you. Thank you everybody for sending me things and seeing treasures like I do. And even if you don't know what to do with it, I love it that you share it with me. Um, I just thank you so much for thinking of me when you're out and about. 
Um, I know a lot of you send me pictures of Big Santa with the red velvet dress. Oh yeah, put that buckle on there. I have to make it more like a coat than a dress though. So I would make this be, okay, you got me thinking. I This would be, instead of the front, this would be the back. Then I could open the coat. See how that would be more like a coat and cut that and leave it open. I wouldn't have a Santa head. Oh, look, and then one of these hats. Doesn't Santa have a black hat? <laughs> that black hat. Could I use these red boots and paint them black to get the boots? <laughs> oh, I got a whole year to worry about it. Yeah, Mrs. Claus. Yeah, I got a whole year to <laughs> figure it out. That'll be a big one. Wow, I've never made any that big before. Mine are always little. <laughs> so, okay, you guys, thank you all so much. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. And um, I got a lot to clean up here tonight. <laughs> so but I'm going to go. I made meatloaf and mashed potatoes for dinner. So it's all done. I'm going to go have some of that. And um, then I'm going to put away and um, maybe work on this other heart. So that'll be my evening. Um, I appreciate you guys being here. It's nice to see you all again. Happy New Year. And um, give me a follow. I just had two people show up in my feed of lives as I was um, um, just doing nothing last night. Um, no, I wasn't. I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with these hearts. And anyway, I knew that I followed both of them. And I thought, gosh, I haven't seen her in forever. Honey, suckle, something. Uh, and I can't remember the other one. And I went and I wasn't following them and I know I was I used to see her both of them all the time and I forgot about them so Facebook does really kick you out so yeah make sure you're following or at least maybe hit a like that helps a girl out you and your followers would be yes <laughs> yes anybody else would get it and be like what the heck do you do with that but yes, you guys know, I'll turn it into gold for sure. So thank you for watching. Give me a follow. Happy New Year, everybody. And I will see you again next time. And I promise I won't wait so long. Yes, Honeysuckle Haven. That was one of them. And I always liked what she made. She made something. Maybe that. Maybe she was the one that made something. And so, I think it was Jackie. Um, uh, Miles, Jackie Miles, I think posted a, or sent me a picture of something that she got. I don't, I don't know. And uh, I correspond with so many people, you guys. It's a miracle I keep them all straight. Yeah, <laughs> you too, Jeannie. Um, good luck to you with your with your um, leg situation there. I'm glad you're on the. Well, I was gonna say you're on the other side of it, but it sounds like you still have a long way to go, honey. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, it's it's amazing how many people we talk to. It's hard to keep you all straight. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.